everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Poobarama, and in today's video, we are going to be testing the Railgun. This is the latest released weapon in Grand Theft Auto Online. A weapon that a lot of us from Story Mode have been waiting years to finally debut in Grand Theft Auto. And it has. I am so happy that this weapon is finally available in Grand Theft Auto Online. In today's video, we are going to be testing just how good of a weapon this is. Personally, I have really high hopes for this weapon. I have a feeling that this might be my number one go-to in the game when it comes to dealing with griefers, especially selling in public lobbies. So we're going to be testing it out, letting you know just about everything you need to, and comparing it to its most, should I say, comfortable counterparts, the RPG, and as well, the grenade launcher. So, what is the railgun? Well, it's pretty simple. It's kind of like the explosive sniper in the fact that it just shoots an explosive round. You can see it right there. Shoots a little explosion. You think that that little explosion isn't that impressive until you do this and then you realize yeah it's pretty dang impressive it will absolutely destroy anything in front of you so we've tested the railgun obviously it one shots a car and we already know that the grenade launcher also destroys a car but you'll notice the difference is that it takes a lot longer for the grenade launcher to reach its target and that is also the same for the rpg there is a bit of a shell travel before it reaches where it has to go where that's not the case with the railgun it is instantaneous now, the first thing I do want to test is, does it destroy a Hydra with one shot? And yes, yes it does. That is actually huge, because that means if you're trying to deal with griefers, you can instantly destroy their jets. Now, I also wanted to have a range test set up. We can see all the way down at the end of the runway here, I have four vehicles placed. We have Fisters, and as well, we have an Insurgent pickup. Now, I want to test if the Railgun can shoot all the way down there and instantly hit the Fisters. Here we go. Boom. And wow, that is actually incredible. I did not think the railgun was going to be able to shoot that far. All right, I'm going to have to set up another car. Uh, but just to show you, first of all, I do not think the grenade launcher can actually reach that far. So if we were to shoot the grenade launcher, even if I probably set a super high trajectory angle like that, the grenade launcher won't even get close to that. I mean, look at how, how far the grenade launcher gets. It's not even close. So the grenade launcher is already much, much inferior to the railgun, apart from the fact that you can kind of launch grenades not stop with a railgun you have to reload and it's not the fastest reload you can see shoot and then he has to put another bolt but honestly it's not that long either so now let's test out the rpg can the rpg hit the comet all the way on the other side of the map well uh let's find out it's still going still going still going and no it actually can't i'm gonna try one more shot maybe it went a little bit low let me aim directly center on that window there and let's take a look if it actually hits the car this time and no wow look at that i actually i actually got that perfect too it looks like it's just a few feet short of the car so right there is already a perfect example of the railgun being superior not only to the rpg but as well to the other explosive weapon in the game being the grenade launcher. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go all the way down here. If the railgun can still hit the fister from this distance, it's going to be insane. So let's pull it out. I don't even know if I can see the car from this distance. I'm just going to shoot and hope that we hit it. There you go. I don't know if we hit it. It's not even in my render range. Uh, let's just zoom in a bit. Um, the problem is the car is literally not in my render range. I'm going to have to go a little bit closer so we can actually see the car in my render range. And uh, I still don't think... Oh, no, I can see it now. Okay, so this is about as far away as we're going to be able to go. It's still probably got 100 feet from where we were before. So let's shoot at the Fister and fire. Yes, that is actually insane. So what that shows us right there is that the railgun has essentially infinite range. As long as you can see the vehicle, you're going to be able to shoot it, which is actually massive. You wouldn't think that the railgun has that far of range, and you'll also notice oh, it's almost instantaneous on shooting its target. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test how many explosions these vehicles can survive compared to the RPG. So let's start off with the railgun, and we're just going to see how many shots it takes for the railgun to blow up the insurgent pickup. We have 12 rounds in the gun to start off with here, and obviously I can always resupply, um, but I'm expecting that the RPG will be maybe a bit better at dealing with an in Oh, we just missed that round as it went completely through the vehicle. So, I guess we have 11 rounds, but I do think that the RPG is going to be better at destroying the insurgent than the railgun will, because, to be fair, this is a much smaller explosion, at least on looks, but I guess we're gonna... Never mind. That was 10 shots. Because we have one left, we missed one, so that was 10 shots in total it took to blow up the Insurgent. Thing wasn't even smoking, just instantly blew up. Okay, well let's pull out the RPG, 
and start testing. There's one. Two. I think that it'll be pretty similar. Three. Four. We had 17 rounds, I think, but I'll just count. Five. Okay. Five? Wow. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, the RPG is better at dealing with armored vehicles. It only took five explosions from the RPG, where it took ten from the railgun. But to be fair, that does make sense, as I did say the RPG has a larger explosion. If you were to shoot an RPG at a Hydra as well, it would hit. But the problem is that shooting a Hydra down with an RPG is almost nearly impossible. Now I want to test out the actual effectiveness of the railgun shooting moving vehicles. Before we jump to planes, I want to shoot moving vehicles first, and this is a very simple test. We're just going to make our way over towards the highway here, and I'm going to show you the difference between the RPG and the railgun. So first of all, let's try and shoot this blue truck with the RPG. I'm going to aim about here and shoot. So to hit that truck, we had to aim quite a far ahead and still, wow, that's not even close. We did hit a vehicle, uh, but not even close. So to hit a vehicle on this road, let's try and hit that white truck. I'm going to shoot about now and it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. And there you go. The amount of distance we had to lead that shot was actually mind boggling. Let's compare that to the railgun. Now, let me purchase some more ammo here. Obviously it might take me a little bit getting used to here, but uh, boop, 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 and purchase. Okay. So for the railgun let's shoot at this truck ah that was a bad shot for me maybe i shouldn't shoot too far away let's shoot at this vehicle here and there you go i mean look at that it's it's not even close comparison the railgun almost instantly nukes anything in front just boop dead so already we can see that the railgun is way way better at destroying almost anything in front little car no problem i mean i, I could hit anything really boop no problem. <laughs> this is just insane. I'm breaking into Fort Sancudo. You know how well fortified Fort Sancudo is when I'm breaking into it with a crop duster. Clearly, clearly Fort Sancudo knows what's up. All right, let's get behind the plane. Let's slow down and cut off the throttle. Here we go. Beautiful landing and stop, 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 stop. Whoa, this thing is not very good at stopping, but we've managed to get out. Now we're watching the Titan take off. All we have to do is hit the Titan and boom. I mean, <laughs> that was it. That was all we had to do. Oh my God, that's so easy. <laughs> one shot takes out an entire Titan. I'm gonna try this one more time, but I'm gonna give the Titan a little bit of time to actually get into the air. Maybe it'll be a little bit harder to shoot it, but that was incredibly easy the first shot. So let's try this one more time. Let me just land the plane. Here we go, landing the plane. And let me just crash it into this again. This seemed to do the trick and get out. All right, so the Titan's gonna take off in the world's fastest takeoff, just <laughs> Alright, so let's give it a little bit of time, and I'd say that's pretty good. Boop! Oh, there you go. It's done. <laughs> oh my god. Bye-bye! And welcome to Grand Theft Auto Online. The railgun is by far the best weapon in the game. I think that there's a lot of really good weapons, but the railgun is just better. I mean, why would you use any other weapon when you can just insta-hit somebody and kill them with a railgun? Like, yeah, the minigun's great. But the minigun doesn't have the ability to just nuke instantly. Okay, I, I seriously got this plane stuck. Oh, well. Hopefully, all of you enjoyed today's video. If there's any tests you'd like me to perform, let me know in the comments down below. But I really don't think there is much to really test with this, v this weapon anymore. I mean, if you compare the railgun to the... RPG, there's no way we would have hit the Titan with the RPG. It just wouldn't have happened. So the fact that we can, oh, I have no, uh, I have no health, get in the plane. But we would have never ever hit that Titan with the RPG or the grenade launcher. We might have hit it with the homing launcher, but why bother when you can just insta nuke something with the freaking railgun? I mean, the railgun is the best weapon in the game. There is no doubt in my mind. It is absolutely insane. It has infinite shell range, essentially, if you can look at what you're looking at. It has inf like almost instantaneous uh, shell velocity as well. Whatever you're shooting at is going to be hit almost instantly. And its reload is fairly quick, about the same as an RPG. In fact, if we were to test that really quick, I bet you the RPG reloads almost the exact same as the, um, as the railgun. So let me test that, and then we'll end off the video. But, I mean, it's just a little stupid. So here we are. Let's pull out the railgun. And fire. One, two, three. It takes three seconds. And let's compare that to the homing launcher. One, two, 
three, and it's about the same, and let's do the RPG. One, two, three. I mean, they're all essentially the same. So why would I use the RPG when trying to hit that white car there when I can just pull out the railgun and still hit that white car? I mean, <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it helped you out. And let me know what you think about the uh, railgun in the comments down below. But if you don't have it, make sure you get your hands on it. The way to get the railgun is very simple. There is a gun van that spawns somewhere on the map. You're going to have to find the gun van and... Uh, and then purchase the railgun. People told me it's like $600,000. That's what I think around mine was purchased for. It's expensive. It's by far one of the most expensive weapons in the game, but what it's capable of doing by far makes it a must have purchase. Dealing with griefers, dealing with anybody that's a general douchebag in your lobby and the fact that you can just, you know, do that to them is pretty insane. This will be great at dealing with oppressors. Maybe I'll test that in the future as somebody trying to kill me with an oppressor and I'll try to hit them out of the sky. But I mean, the railgun is amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.